Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a budget cosmetic remodel on your bathroom for less than $3,000. We're inside a condo flip I just completed. When I first purchased this home, it was super bizarre. There were holes in the walls and the ceilings and this bathroom was a mess. So with less than $3,000, we were able to completely transform this bathroom and we got multiple offers on this home, ended up selling it for well over asking price. So I'm going to use this bathroom as an example to show you how you can also do a budget remodel on your bathroom. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome to the channel. My name is Elisa and I'm a house flipper in the San Francisco Bay Area. I've been flipping houses for 5 years and I've done about 40 home remodels. On this channel, I share before and after videos and home remodeling tips and tricks. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more interesting content. If you've seen my videos on bathroom remodel cost, you probably know that usually my bathroom remodels cost about $10,000. And on this bathroom, we were able to save $7,000 and still achieve a pretty good result. To make sure a cosmetic remodel is a good fit for your bathroom, you want to check out the vanity. If the existing vanity is like what we have here, the drawers and doors are in good shape and they can be painted and look nice then it probably is a good solution for you before you decide to put a fresh coat of paint on your bathroom vanity you want to look at them to see if they are too old usually if the cabinets are 50, 60 years old, then they are approaching the end of their lives and they can't be simply saved. But for cabinets that are like these, that are about 30 years old, they can use a fresh coat of paint and come out pretty nice. You would also want to take a closer look at your shower tiles and the tub. If there are broken tiles or the tub is in very poor condition, then a cosmetic remodel may not be the right fit for you. The first step of a cosmetic bathroom remodel is to paint the vanity. When you paint the vanity cabinets, you have a few colors to choose from. Right now for cabinets, white and gray are the two most popular colors. On this home, because we painted the interior a cream color, I wanted to have a little contrast on the bathroom vanities, so I chose this medium gray color. This is called Silent Night by Benjamin Moore, and I've used it many times before on kitchen cabinets and bathroom vanities, and I really like how it turns out. Um, if you choose a white color for your bathroom vanity, you can try Swiss Coffee or White Dove by Benjamin Moore. They are very nice colors. I've never tried navy blue colors on a vanity before, but I've seen it done really nicely, so you can give it a shot. To paint the vanity, I use an eggshell finish in the paint. It gives the vanity a smooth touch and it's also not too shiny. If we were to install a new vanity here, because this is not standard size and we wouldn't be able to use prefabricated vanity, it would have cost at least over a thousand dollars. So by painting the vanity, we saved at least a few hundred dollars. Before I share more tips on this bathroom renovation, make sure you smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel. It's going to help the channel grow and motivate me to create more interesting content. The second step of a budget cosmetic remodel is to replace the hardware. Even though the hardware is small and inexpensive, they can make a big difference. Choose these clean lined modern drawer poles can make your vanity look a lot more updated. To decide on the finish you choose for the hardware, you want to consider the hardware that you use on the rest of the home because 
On this home, we have black windows and we're using black hardware elsewhere. So I chose black drawer posts here. And you can also use chrome or brushed nickel or even brass. We're going to talk about the light and mirror in a little bit, but I usually try to match the drawer pull with the light and mirror to make it more consistent. This video is sponsored by Realm. Realm is an app that helps homeowners renovate faster with less stress and avoid costly mistakes. A lot of people have asked me about home renovation projects and they don't know where to start. You can start with Realm. Realm advisors help you pick the right projects, connect you with trustworthy vetted contractors in your area who are available to do your renovation projects. Overpaying for renovation costs is a big concern of homeowners, and Realm can help with that too. Realm provides you with accurate renovation cost estimate that's specific to your property. It also shows you how much value each renovation will add so you can easily decide which renovation projects are worth the investment. Renovations take a lot of time and cost a lot of money. It can be overwhelming. But when you work with a room advisor, you can renovate faster with less stress, saving hours of frustration and 5 to 25% renovation cost. When you are ready to start a project, click on the link in the video description below to download the free Realm app and speak with a Realm advisor. They'll provide you with reliable pricing, help you prioritize, and connect you with trustworthy contractors. They also help you assess the bids so you know that you are choosing the fairest bid for the highest quality work. They take the risk out of renovations by helping you every step of the way. The third step of a cosmetic bathroom remodel is to replace the countertops. The old countertops here were not that bad. I thought about cleaning and keeping it, but then I noticed that the sink cutout was round and that was a dead giveaway that the vanity was old. So I decided to replace the countertops with these new quartz countertops with marble looking veins and they came out really nice. When you replace the countertops, you can also get matching backsplash. The four inch backsplash we have here is actually included with the countertops. So it was a very nice touch. And when you replace the countertops, you also want to replace the sink and the faucet. The sink, as I mentioned earlier, is more popular when they are this square shaped nowadays. So make sure you pay attention to that. And the faucet we chose here is not my favorite. I actually wanted something a little more modern, but because we bought it too late and this was the only one that was in stock, so we had to make it work. Step number four is to replace the light and mirror. Light and mirror don't have to cost a lot of money, but they can bring a nice style into the bathroom. So here, the light I chose cost less than $50 and the mirror is about $100. And they are very cost effective items, but they give the bathroom a very nice modern look. When you choose the light, you want to avoid any traditional looking lights. And on the mirrors, the frame mirrors are much more popular than the old school frameless mirrors. So you want to choose something that has a frame. You can also use an LED mirror, but make sure that you have an outlet that's in the back of the mirror already prepared so the mirror can be easily installed. The next step is to replace the flooring. In the bathroom before, we had linoleum floors here and it looks so dated. We replaced it with this new vinyl floors in the vanity space to be consistent with the premier bedroom. And in this water closet, we use tiles 
to separate it from the rest of the space and also to make it look modern. Flooring is very important in a bathroom because it needs to be waterproof and because the space is smaller, you want to use something that's light colored and as consistent as possible so that you can make the space feel a little bigger. The next step is to refresh the shower and tub. As mentioned earlier, not all shower and tubs can be simply reglazed and refinished, but because the shower tiles and the tub are in good condition, we were able to do this on this lower price point home and it helped me save thousands of dollars by not replacing the tiles and the tub and it also came out really clean and nice. The reglazing of the tiles and the tub is a very special technique. Not a lot of people can do it. It lasts a long time and you can also choose different colors. When you refresh your shower and tub, don't forget to replace the plumbing fixtures because if those look old, your shower still can't feel updated. The last and final step of the remodel is painting. I usually use the same color as the rest of the home or if the bathroom is small, I tend to choose a lighter color to make it feel brighter and bigger. And the finish of the paint you want to use is semi-gloss because it allows you to clean the walls easily. If you're interested in seeing how bizarre and messy this home used to be, check out this video here. I hope you found the tips here helpful and if you did, smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.